ahead and slate Lauren. Great. This is Lauren Weinstein doing the focus generic questions. And uh, Nisha, just so you know, they're not going to use my voice in this. So okay. whenever possible, if you could just incorporate my question into your answer. Okay. Um, that would be awesome. Um, okay, great. So first off, um, what attracted you to directing this project? Um, so I was attracted to this project because Laura Greeson wrote a really beautiful script. Um, it was funny. It was warm. It was a really refreshing take on a, a subject that I know and love, which is um, a, a boss and an assistant. Um, it's also just ultimately a story about two strong women um, at a point in their lives where they have to take risks. And any movie that has two strong women taking risks and then being greatly rewarded for those risks is a movie I always want to get behind. I want to tell that story. I want to see that story. I want to um, celebrate that story. So when I read the script, that, that was definitely the thing that drew me in the most. That's awesome. Um, so can you talk about like any new experiences that you had directing a music centric film? Like, did you approach yeah. it differently than in a traditional comedy? Yes. Um, so because the movie had a, a big, sorry. <laughs> so because the movie was a music movie and not just a, a comedy and um, a female basically work movie, uh, Ali Lowy and I, the producer, found ourselves with this really incredible task ahead of us, which was um, produce an album <laughs> and get all the music and then make the movie with that music. So really, I think it was both of our first music driven movies. And um, that was a, a huge task. Luckily, we had um, Universal Music Group. We had Mike Novak and Natalie Hayden. We had Linda Cohen, the most incredible music producer. Um, a music supervisor, sorry, Linda Cohen, the most incredible music supervisor in the business. We had Rodney Jerkins, who is just a legend music producer. And then we found our super secret weapon, which was Sarah Ahrens, uh, the songwriter who just blew us away. She came in. So part of the process is you listen to a thousand demos and you try to pick like, what song would David be singing? What song would Maggie have David be singing? What song would Grace be singing? What song is Grace's biggest hit that she's been singing for decades? Um, what song is the song Grace is gonna write? What song is the song Grace is gonna sing at the end that Maggie helped produce? And how do you put together and tell this whole story musically as well as um, telling the movie story? Um, and how do you keep these two things uh, seamlessly entwined with also the incredible hits of the movie that we have working in the songs um, itself from the script. So there are just like classic music songs that everybody loves from Aretha Franklin to Donny Hathaway um, in this movie. And how do we not compete with it? Also, um, how do we make songs that are also working on the same level with these great iconic hits that we all have? And then, how do we actually make those songs so that we can then film the actors singing them and then put it out on a soundtrack later? These are all things that we didn't know before we made this movie and had to learn how to do and then do it <laughs> really fast because we shot the whole movie in 36 days. Um, we had, you know, not that much time to prep and get all that music done as we were prepping and shooting the movie at the same time. The actors were rehearsing, learning their lines, also going back and forth to the music studio, recording their songs, coming in, learning choreography, performing the songs, learning how to play the instruments that were needed to play those songs, and then going back to the studio and recording again. So it was pretty intense. The whole process of a music movie is um, a lot more work than any sort of other movie. Um, and that was all a big learning curve. Luckily, we were in the hands of really amazing pros. Um, but when Sarah Ahrens came in, I remember there were so many demos we were listening to and I talked to her about what I was looking for in the movie and what kind of sound and what the lyrics should be and what um, moments that I needed these songs for. And she came to me with three demos she gave me and I listened to them and the next day she was like, okay, which one did you like? And I said, all of them. <laughs> and then I said, not only do I want to use all three of these songs, but I also have another song that we haven't found yet, um, which is Grace's hit song that um, she's going to sing. And so Sarah wrote this song for that and I heard it and it was so moving and so beautiful that I actually decided to um, make that 
David and Grace's song and I asked Rodney if he could make it a duet so that David would sing that song and then that would be the song that Grace would come sing with him on stage at the end. And Rodney Jerkins did a beautiful job um, producing that song into a duet. And it's just one of my most favorite scenes is watching David and his mom sing the song at the end. And it just, uh, knowing that that journey that it came from, just Sarah Aaron's writing it in an evening to Rodney Jerkins making it a reality to Tracy and Kelvin bringing that voice to life. It's just a really satisfying and beautiful process. Oh, I love that was that. a super long answer. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'll try to get a few <laughs> quick one. I have to ask you. So can you talk about the crew and like how important it was for you to have a story about a woman being told by women? What was it like working with a predominantly like female crew? Oh, um, I guess that's not very rare for me, but uh, yeah, it was, I think that because our, our industry has been, you know, known to, uh, have roadblocks for women getting in behind the camera. It was really important to me to collaborate with other women behind the scenes that were at the top of their game. Um, we had Jenny Egan, the most incredible costume designer, Teresa Glossarian, our production designer, Ali Lowy, our producer, of course, Laura Greeson, who wrote the script, um, our incredible hair and makeup team. We have, let's see, Linda Cohen, the music supervisor. I think to me, when you're telling the story about um, to super strong women, it would be a shame to not have incredibly talented, confident, super strong women behind the camera as well. So it's something that I've always tried to achieve in movies is um, gender parity behind the camera and in front of the camera. And I'm really happy that that continued with behind it. So good. 